Condominium buyers may enjoy lower prices in the second half of this year as more units remain unsold, with an additional 7,000 units expected to be launched by year end. Now, that's despite good sales at recent projects, which appear to point towards strong buyer sentiment. Marcus Tan tells us more. Selling over 500 units in its opening weekend, the Preserve Residence's success rides on its location, right above the future Beauty World Integrated Transport Hub. We are very confident that uh, this development will do well and it will appeal to all the owner occupiers or young families that want to upgrade, especially with children, so that they can go to the nearby school or even actually for what I call the, the maybe the older generation that are right sizing. This, despite launching after the government's decision to raise the additional buyer stamp duty. Some industry players regard this as an indication that Singapore's private housing market will remain robust. If you fall back down below 3 million, uh, it would be safe to say that 80% of the transactions or close to 80% of the transactions belong to the locals. I don't foresee that within the the market of real estate, there's going to be any major shifts on that because there is still genuine demand in Singapore uh, in terms of upgraders and stuff like that. However, a survey of developers and real estate professionals by National University of Singapore's Institute of Real Estate and Urban Studies revealed that developers were feeling less positive, citing the increased ABSD and global economic slowdown as factors. I think given all this uncertainty, there will have to be more uh, prudence and also more realistic in terms of pricing. I think if you look at the, the few launches uh, uh, after the ABSD, those, th those I think pricing, the pricing actually play a very important factor in determining the sales rate as well. So I think developer may have to uh, carefully calibrate the pricing. They are not able to continue to price uh, the project upward and, to, and hoping that they will be able to clear the, the unit S at the same time. Professor Singh also notes that about 600 unsold units are about to hit their ABSD deadline. This means that developers will have to pay a hefty tax on units that are not sold. They would then be motivated to give discounts, which could put downward pressure on the prices of newer developments. For the newer development, they face uh, also the competition from this existing uh, project which have already launched for some time, if they start to slash prices, then the new project developer may face pressure to, to also actually uh, to maybe have to provide some discount or even um, lower the prices to, 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 to attract the demand. Developers for older units will have to compete for buyers against 7,000 units launching later this year.